Hey everyone, Art Shadow here, and welcome to a surprise stream of Genshin Impact. So previously, there was a lot of level grinding. Well, I keep calling it level grinding, but it was just material grinding and of the sort. Right now, though, I want to see about if I can get anything done with this event. I know nothing about it other than there are cats involved. So... Oh, and apparently one of my favorite characters is involved in this, so I have to see this. But first though, as always, have to get these commissions done. <laughs> and yeah, it's like, I don't even care what they're saying anymore because, yeah, I've been through this so many times. That's new to me, though. And what's this kid doing? Can we please buy these squash, Mom? What about the squash that I got you last week? Oh, come on, Mom. Well, that's what it's making me think of right here. He just looks so excited standing in front of him, the mom's just there like, Nuh-uh. No way. What's even the point of looking for the components? It doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I found a potato in the sewers. That probably won't taste good. since I don't know what this event is going to be like. I don't even know how many days it'll take. I mean, it gives you nine days, but then I'm just kind of here like, I don't know how many of those days you're going to need. If it's going to be one of those sort of events where it's like, you can just wait it out and then finish it in an entire day, or you have to kind of, you know, plan it out carefully. Frozen. Surprise. I see everything. Shine down. face. Okay, grab all that. Okay, this thing. That's what you get for swimming too close to me when I'm aiming. Right. What do we got next? Okay, these guys. Let's move out. Hi guys. Yeah. There is no escape. Watch out. Oh, right. I see everything. Oh, how did that guy just die? Okay, I 
course, that was all of them. Ad Astra Abyssos. Hello, robot. Thank you for. Ad Astra. Okay, dispatch all over again. And okay. <laughs> So let's see what we got here. So we're going to go back to the cat's tail. Okay. Haven't been here in a while. And yep, they got rid of all the potion shop decorations and whatever. And yeah, that's new. Why is Rosaria there? Oh, looks like Margaret is talking with those two people over there. Yes, and one of them is the goth hooker nun. Wait, is that Rosaria? Huh, she's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. She's probably just another reskin of another NPC. I think she's also here to play with some cats. I think she's also here to play some cards. Could be either or, or both. We'll never know. Say no more, Valerina. I'll continue to help you out just as Victoria requested. Who? Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. I've never known her to take care of anyone or anything. If anything, I'm more worried about her showing up in my room to kill me in my sleep. That doesn't solve our biggest problem, though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us, they're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. We just opened, and the Furball Fortress is already about to go under. I am so confused here. Although, yes, if animals do go through a lot of stress and anxiety, it can majorly take a toll on their health. Well. I mean, of course, that goes for people, too, but, I mean, you can especially see it with animals. Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. Yes, because almost everybody is afraid of you. <laughs> you're very stalkerish, you're, well, of course, I'm sure someone is going to go for the goth girl thing that you've got going for you, but otherwise, yeah, you're not exactly the tender, loving, care kind of gal. Hi, Rosaria! And hello to you too, Miss Adventurer! Hello, nameless NPC, well, NPC whose name that I'll probably forget in the next five minutes. Sounds like you're all really worried about something. Yes, how can my eyes help you? Our cat saviors! They've appeared already! What? Uh, saviors? Uh, seems a bit sudden considering we just met. I know, at least treat me to dinner first before you go calling me something like that. Sounds like a title we'll have to live up to. I smell a commission coming. I'll try to keep it short. My name's Valerina, and I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. Okay. I thought it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win. I see this as an absolute win, and didn't I say that in the last stream sometime? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess we'll be able to save all those animals that don't have a place to go. The sisters over at the church heard about my plans, and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. Kindly? Are you sure you don't mean the coldly? She's really like an ice queen, well, aside from the other ice queen that we have in Signora. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. I just accepted the assignment from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine, or the spare time to help. Okay, yeah, that... well, see, even she agrees. In that, I can believe. 
Now, whether or not that she'll do that with, you know, the same amount of love and affection that Barbara might, well, probably not. Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? No, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures. They've all been settled. Mm, okay. So then, what seems to be the problem? The main problem is, um, the cats. They, uh, keep swatting at me. What? They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. So in other words, they hate you. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. Well, let's be real. Heard something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Yes, and I guess if you don't find Rosaria to be deadly sexy, well, yeah, she's deadly looking. Huh. Kind hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Hmm. Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. Seems that way. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't able to offer a solution to our problem. She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. Hmm, okay. She did give us one piece of advice, though. To enlist the help of the Honorary Knight and their trusty helper in white. <laughs> they came up with that little rhyme? We had just wrapped up our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself! Well, that explains why you're here giving me these fancy titles. Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. But that aside, we've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation! And all we did was just walk over here. It's perfect timing, though, no? We were just talking about playing with cats. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get to show off that bit of dialogue when Paimon just starts randomly talking about that, like... <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, well... I mean, I guess I could've... I could've maybe tried to save some of the... the video footage of that, like, whenever I log in, but... I guess I didn't think about doing it at the time. So, oh well. Well, that's true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just fine. Well, we'll see about that. Like, that's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line. Well, Valerina probably won't have too many problems. Rosaria, on the other hand... Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. Yeah, you see. Good luck trying to get her to be friendly to anyone. I almost feel like having her smile and be nice would be kind of cursed. Hmm. If you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part... <laughs> oh great, you're gonna pawn this off on us, aren't you? This errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church activities in any case. Ah, so that's why you agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duties. And now you're gonna shirk these duties on us. Well, I guess I should show you around first. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. Still not too sure about the name, but okay. Uh, oh, it's over here. Oh my god, it's a building! We can actually go inside! It's a miracle! A building we can actually go into! It only took how many years for this to happen? Okay. 
Oh, there's a harp. <laughs> oh, it's just a regular house. Oh, gotta say, Paimon was expecting something a little bigger with fortress in the name and everything. Paimon, you shut up. You know how long I've waited to see them add another building that we can go inside of? This was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's a plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the cat's tail inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million mora. Well, that's still not too cheap. Of course. Not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit, they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. When that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different name. Huh, maybe the... Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> mm, okay, I guess... I don't know about that, but you do you. I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. Mm. Huh? Look over there! That cat is staring at us! He's just standing there, staring at us. Menacingly! Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us forever to track her down again. Okay, she's staring at us menacingly. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh fallen snow. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Tofu would be a... Or, Tofu would also be a good fit. Pudding isn't a bad choice either. I'm not too thrilled about either of those names. Oh my god, I can finally do Wheel of Morality. Okay, I guess that was the Ooh, one I didn't those want. those are some good names, Traveler, but Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. Probably one of the few times I'll ever agree with Paimon here. Here, kitty kitty! That's it, Snowball! Good kitty! That's a good kitty! It, it's been, what, a minute? And you already got the cat to listen to you! Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker! You really are a cat whisperer. Don't encourage her! Ah, uh, that was nothing! They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. First things first, though. You gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Um, how should Paimon put it? Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions. Just put a paper, just put a paper bag over her head. Then she'll become less scary. These poor creatures, picked up off the streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. Oh my god, I was here like, please don't smile. Oh my god, it's working. Hey, Snowball is snuggling up to Rosaria. Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. Yeah, I guess she's not giving off that intense murder Zora about her now. Did Rosaria just... smile? It looked like a smile, that's why I was here like, oh my god, please no. I saw it too. We should pretend like we didn't see anything. Yes, that way she doesn't come kill us in our sleep. No matter. There are more important things to focus on. Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. Okay. Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. 
When is Rosaria happy about anything, Paimon? Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. And you too, oh great cat whisperer. Don't encourage her. We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress, and I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem, just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time! I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase, so the more I can learn at this stage, the better. Okay, so now what? You must take various requirements into consideration when setting up your fluffy feline home. There are three attributes in this event. Comfiness, durability, and aesthetics. You're required to select one suitable furnishing of each type in such a way that the overall area fits the three attribute requirements exactly. No more, no less. Jeez. The icon of the furnishing's primary attribute will be displayed in the upper left corner of the interface. In addition to the main attribute, it will also provide a small amount of other attributes. There is only one unique combination of furnishing that furnishes the attributes needed to complete the challenge, and the furnishings that comprise that combination have appearances that complement each other the best. I'm getting I'm getting a headache just reading this. After you've completed your fluffy feline home setup, you can place the place food into the cat bowl to be acknowledged by them. After you fed a cat, you can call the corresponding cat at the throne of the Meower or invite it to play directly. What? Is this the throne? I know nothing! Oh wow, we can actually... It's kind of weird calling a cat as furnishing, but, well. Okay, Snowball has a shy and delicate personality. Perhaps a comfy home can help it adapt to its environment. Okay, so we have five different cats here, and... Okay, so I guess you go through these one by one, and, well, this one unlocks in about four hours, so... Oh, wait. Let's see here. Oh, no, wait. Ugh. Okay, well... Following accessories might be suitable for your feline home. Comforting melody. Oh, there we go, okay. Well, that's helpful at least. Oh, wow, I. Well, I have plenty of steak. You want the steak? Okay, I guess this is... No, wait. 
I don't know what the throne is, exactly. Let me see. You can select a cat from the throne of Meow or directly invite a cat to come and play. The cat's friendship levels are as follows. Trusted, cherished, inseparable. The eight points where you can pet the cat are the right ear, left ear, face, lower body, upper body, tail, right paw, and left paw. Different cats have their own preferences for where they wish to be petted. Press in order to pet the cat. If you pet the cat in... If you pet right where the cat likes it, its friendliness to you will increase. But this value will remain the same or even decrease should you pet a spot that displeases the feline. Repeatedly petting the same part of the cat will cause friendliness to increase by less and less, until it no longer increases at all. As such, you must adjust your approach and pet the cat in different spots. After you have switched up the places you are petting it a certain number of times, this cat's rate of friendliness will increase will reset across all body parts it likes to be petted. Once a cat's friendship level has increased to the next stage, areas where it did not enjoy being petted may change, and it may now permit you to pet it in new places. Use your keen observation and get along with them. NOW! Jeez, I feel like I'm being threatened with that last part. Okay, so let me see. Hello, Snowball. Okay, apparently you don't like that. Or that. Cherish level. Wait, what? Okay, well. Okay, so she doesn't like me petting her head at the moment. like, I guess this would be her right ear. It must be. Yes, this is how it must be. Okay. okay, no, I did not check in today, so. That should fix it, though. 
No, don't be inappropriate. Double Mona. <laughs> the fun has been doubled. Precisely for I still stand by what I say that over this one I still prefer it for her. Only because this one I'm still not too one over on it. I don't know. It just has a better cohesion to me here. You're just here watching me <laughs> messing with the fact that I have two Monas now in the same room. This is exactly what I was waiting for. I saw a screenshot earlier today that apparently Mona was in this event. I was like, yeah, I have to, I have to get through this like now. Yep, this is different. <laughs> It's like, here I am, living the dream of having two Monas in the same room. <sighs> two beautiful grumpy queens together. Wearing different outfits. Because... Yeah, apparently, this outfit is too sexy, and this one... Somehow isn't. Astrologers must rid themselves of material desires. Only by Hello, Mr. Mihoyo from China! World My them. son's playing your naughty game again! With the silly, sexy, grumpy girl! She's got the outfit that makes. Whoa! Hmm. <laughs> yep, arms akimbo mono. Grumpy girl is too sexy for my boy! Ain't no son of mine playing that game! That outfit just makes her look like a Playboy bunny! Whoa! <laughs> and hey there, Ninja. Yeah, pretty much. This is what this has devolved into right now. I started doing this event, and now it's just devolved into me making fun of the fact that I have Mona squared here. <laughs> no, I'm just making fun of the fact that apparently this outfit is too sexy, and this outfit right here apparently is not. I still love this outfit for her, though. Yeah, so that's why I was here like, Hello, Mr. Mihoyo from China! Earlier, so... Yeah, because... This outfit makes her too sexy! And I won't have it! My son won't be playing a video game like that anymore! Well, 
What's that? You're gonna make her even more sexy? Divination is about precisely foretelling one's written destiny. Over embellishing that fate only okay, leads to well. misconception. <laughs> I don't know how long I can keep doing that voice for. Uh, this is a cat event where basically you're supposed to take care of cats and make them happy and yes and Mona's here now and I'm happy because I can have my grumpy queen here once again and I get to hear her beautiful voice oops pff, no we already played with snowball enough so I guess let's talk to Mona here Huh? Oh, come on! You didn't even get Felicia Angel to voice anything for her? Oh, come on! Well... Fine. At least I get to see her again, but I'm disappointed! Apparently they didn't have enough budget to get the voice actors to do more lines. I haven't seen the video yet, mostly just because I was trying to set up for the stream here. Professor Magistus, or Professor... <laughs> Professor Magistus, that is not how you pronounce it. It's not Leviosa, it's Leviosa! Okay, no. Try roaring at it, like, RAR! Okay, no. Mona going RAR would be like. <laughs> okay, my mind went there. Okay, anyway. I didn't say that! Rosaria's not even here. She just decided, like, yeah, I'm out of here. But to be fair, would you really even want her here? She would scare the cats away. Oh. I was here, like, yeah, why am I at this angle? Can you even... Cats can't write manuscripts! What you talking about, Mona? And I know Crystal Ball don't last, sugar, but still. That doesn't make any sense. the scene well I I mean I get well they can't use a typewriter though have you seen their hands they're like mittens you can't force one to use a typewriter <laughs> well hey I mean having a pet world of difference like of course Joey is not a cat but he does help with relax and relieving stress when he's not causing me stress that is She has a lot of books. Oh. 
Okay, I can definitely imagine that my aunt used to have parrots. So... Mona looking all... Mm, well, that's good. But even if Joy can be kind of a pain in the butt and a little cheap list sometimes, I mean... Of course, I still love him, so... I mean, he's been with me for over, almost eight years now, so... He's been with me through a lot, so... Let me see... It's okay, take your time. Cause baby, you can do it, take your time, do it right. You can do it, baby. Well, anyway. It's okay, take your time. There are many more furry felines in this fortress. Where? There's only Snowball here. Maybe in the future there will be, but... <laughs> Do you see any other cats here? I sure don't. Is Mona gonna... Okay. So Mona's gonna stay here. Good. I just love how grumpy you are. I wish I could hear your sexy voice again, though. Mihoyo, why must you do this to me? I want to hear Mona's sexy voice. Okay, well. Hold on. Can I go up here? What's up here, anyway? Hey! It's a dead end! Oh my god, you're still here. Let me see. A takeout order? What do you think of this job? Yeah, you're just standing here being scary and sexy-ish. Here I thought that she was actually going to be, like, peace, I'm out. You do indeed get along well, well... From what little interaction I've seen between the two of them, I mean, I guess... Yeah, let's put her to work. Get her some catnip. Maybe a big scratching post, or... Or better yet, like, one of those big, like, cat fortresses. Whatever they're called. You know, something like that. What the... Hold on, we're not workaholics either. Are the manuscripts being difficult lately? We'll talk again later. No, I want to talk to her now. But I wish I could hear her voice. Huh. Those are just my commissions, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> what the heck, really? <laughs> Great, and what would my cut be? <laughs> My handwriting isn't exactly the 
prettiest. Have you seen her eyes? <laughs> Jeez. There she's doing the arms akimbo thing. Royalty fees, of course. Okay. Did they list it in like a crappy place for the tier listing? Oh my god, this place is as empty as Lumine's soul. Oh, actually, never mind. There's some stuff in here. Empty like Lumine's eyes and her soul. Does Lumine even have a soul? Oops. Okay, I don't want to... Oh. What are the chances that I'd get stuck on the furniture? Well, looks like I can't get stuck on any furniture. He deserves better. Because I'm a terrible writer? Too early for a hint. Okay, well that already... Nope, not that. Oh, I actually got my first try. Like I said, I mean... Well, I probably won't talk about it too much on here, because the last time I was talking about mods and all that... But... Yeah, I'm, I'm well aware that a lot of people hate my mods, so... Yeah, I'm just saying. When I hear that any of my mods make it onto anyone's tier listing or... Videos about mods they hate, it's like, yeah, I'm just like, I already know I'm gonna be on there somewhere. Have some steak. Oh, hello. Okay. I don't know what your name is, but let's see. Okay, so you like that. Oh, you actually like being petted by that ear. What about the other ear? Okay, you actually like both ears being petted. Hmm. Well, either way, though. I kind of wish people would stop playing the mods and leave me alone. Saying that I can claim rewards. All right. <laughs> can I pet your tail? Okay, you actually like that. Good to know that. <laughs> okay, you kind of like it when I pet your face. Okay, nothing there. A 
Okay, there we go. Oh, hello, Amber. Okay, so we have my grumpy queen here, and now we have the... One of the happiest characters in this entire game. And she always feels like running. Okay, apparently this cat's name is Bunny. But she doesn't look like a bunny. <laughs> a most astute observation. Hold on, I'm a bit lost. Apparently they have. Well, pretty much nothing interesting happens unless I'm here. I, the honorary knight, will fulfill my mission no matter its nature. In defense of the cats of Mondstadt, er, the defense of the cats of Mondstadt is one of my many responsibilities. Wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us a lesson we should learn. Okay. I'm glad I can finally do that. Now I can leave things to fate a lot easier now. Oh. <laughs> the animals know things, Paimon. Well, yeah, we... It's pretty... Well, I think a lot of people are aware of how cats don't like water, like, at all, so... I guess that makes sense. They'd be able to sense this kind of thing. They know what you did, Pimmin. They know. They know everything. Huh. I wonder if dogs know this kind of thing, too. Of course, well, Joey licks his paws a lot, and... Not now, Stonky. I'm here talking to Amber. I'm trying to learn about cats. But yeah, I kind of wonder like if dogs are able to kind of do something similar. <laughs> I guess we'll have to pay more attention going forward. Since when haven't I paid close attention to cute cuties? Who are you? Leave me alone! That's how she ended up here. All oh, right, my rewards. Let's see, what do we have? Wait, what the? That's not it. There we go. Okay, yeah, I was like, wait, what? Okay, so I guess, technically speaking, you probably could. Well, outside of going through the introduction, oh my god, leave me alone! <laughs> 
what was I trying to say? Outside the introduction, and so long as you're able to get through the, I guess, the puzzle aspect of it, I guess you probably could finish this all in a day. And then assuming, oh my, four times in a row, man! Does it make you feel like more lucky? <laughs> aye aye. Oh wait, how many more? Eleven days. <laughs> Eleven days and I've only sunk in about 40 wishes into this. I have no idea if I'm gonna make it. If I hadn't have sunk in those 30 wishes in that chronicled wish banner, who knows, I'd maybe at least have a better chance, but... Yeah, that thing was a total ripoff, and it doesn't even carry over into this banner session, so... <laughs> yeah, talk about disappointing. Hmm. Wait, what the... Oh, I guess it's just telling me... Oh, okay. Not Stonky. Oh my... Who are you? you? Clearly you are. And I guess you have to be watching the stream, if you are aware of it. <laughs> Let's see... Dopey. What? Why would you name a cat Dopey? Well, I guess to be fair, back when... My mom and I got Joey. I used to call him Dopey because he was such a dopey little doggy. Not so much now, but <laughs> anyway, well. Yeah, I guess not. Let me see. Unlocks when feline favor in the Furball Fortress reaches 100. What happens if I get it, though? Oh, it's, it's a special guest. Don't tell me it's gonna be the cat from the... the cat's tail with the cat... Uh, the car game and all that. Oh, we don't even have that there anymore. Okay, well. Alright, so let's see. Comfiness, durability, and aesthetics. Okay, well, that... Might be Kirara. <laughs> Oh, great. Imagine the the chance to... No, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, God. Okay, so it's not that... Okay, there we go. Man, this is pretty fancy. Okay, so apparently this is going to be Dustball? What's the cat's name? I mean, I guess you kind of look like a Dustball. Okay, I can pet you with the upper body. You hate that! Apparently you hate that, too. And that. Yay! Okay, you like your right paw being petted. Your left paw. What about the tail? Okay, you like the tail. Okay, let's see. Right. Did you like the face? Okay, you like the face. <laughs> 
Okay. Don't give me that side eye. Okay, that did not get me anything. That doesn't get me anything either. Oh, great. Jeez. Let me see. Okay, I guess the lower body. There we go. Okay, we have a f razor? Huh. Let me- No, I'm not gonna let you in. I'm trying to get through this right now. I guess let's see what this will get me. Okay, I guess... Well, obviously nothing here. Okay, I got Yanfei. Let's go. Okay, this one not so useless. Oh wow, I got Heiso out of that. Huh. Yeah, that's definitely not useless. This one is, however. C6 Yanfei. I don't know how good that'll be, but if I ever decide to actually finish building her, the option's there. Oh, right, High Stone. Who I don't think I've really ever used either. Oh, well. <laughs> Apparently, he's C6 now as well. I'm just going to try to get through what I can here first. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and then I can probably just come back here and... What have I told you? Alright, so let's see. Okay, so you like that. You also like that. What about the tail? Okay, you like the tail. What about the ears? 
Okay, I actually found someone who likes the ears. Both ears, in fact. What about the face? Okay, apparently you don't like that. Okay, I can claim the rewards, but we're not done yet. Oh my god, it's the other grumpy queen. Or, well, the princess. And... Oh my god, she's a vampire! Okay, no. Seriously, look at how grumpy she is. Astrologers must read I'm not gonna let you in. Desires. Only by ridding oneself I don't know what you're gonna do. See the true world around them. I don't even know who you are. Just let me enjoy staring at these two grumpy girls in peace. Seriously, look at how grumpy Fischl is. Line favor. Okay, it looks like I have to wait four more hours for this one to un well, three more hours for this one to unlock. I guess I can spend the time talking to some of the other characters here. I'm innocent. I don't believe you. Okay, I guess let's talk to Razor then. But yes, yeah, I'm seriously disappointed that they didn't even bother bringing back the voice actors for this... for this event. Well, I mean, outside of having Rosaria and what's-her-face at the beginning, it's like, yeah, now it's just completely without any voice acting. Meowth, that's right. I have a message. Meanwhile, I have a message for you. You're not getting in here! Trying to do the event. When did when did Valerina give us any pancakes? I don't remember getting any pancakes. Paimon, you ate all my pancakes, didn't you? I remember your or, I gave you half my portion, remember? I don't! No sweat. You can still eat triple what you ate before. You pig. Your cat snowball. Joke's on you. I don't have a cat. Special delivery. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Okay. 
Okay, let me talk to you again. Let's see, are the manuscripts being difficult lately? Cat from event. But she's right here. for her. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And stressed. It's... I don't even know what that is. I can't even read that. Could you pronounce your name for me? Well, if you're well, obviously you're watching the stream. Can you type in the stream how I'm supposed to pronounce that? It's hallucinati. I I don't even know if I'm saying it right. That would be ideal anyway. But what if you just want to have fun? Because girls just want to have fun. What the? P oh great, Mona's gonna turn to cars. Hallucination. Okay. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, you're trying to say that this is a hallucination? Well, joke's on you. Well, I don't know why, but it's joke's on you anyway. What was I gonna say? Mona's gonna turn to cars. Eventually, she's going to stop thinking. <laughs> okay, Amber. As long as you're enjoying yourself, Amber. What kind of cats do you like, Amber? Thanks for the compliments. We'll keep at it. Not even watching. If you're not even watching, then how are you answering all my questions or responding to me? Here thinking this cat's name is Bunny, and obviously, the whole thing of Amber with the bunny ears. Well, I guess that answers that question. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? The fact that you're responding to me right now. Oh, so you actually know the person who made all that stuff? Yeah, apparently she said a few million mora. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Natural talent. You practice with Baron Bunny. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Piggies.
Scary, there's a bad guy over there. You're a bad man! Would you like to test me personally, Instructor Amber? My gliding skills soar upward by the second. That's the spirit. Oh, great. And of course, Paimon wants food. Because she's a pig! See what kind of cast do you like, Amber? Your best friend. Jokes on you. I don't have a best friend. All my best friends abandoned me after high school. Well, well, technically, yeah, no, that's not true. Technically speaking, they abandoned me after college. Well, 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 look who finally shows himself. Yeah, no, so they abandoned me after college, and then unfortunately Darlene passed away, and yeah, so. So, yeah, I have no best friend. Because they all either moved on with their lives, or in Darlene's case, they are no longer on this earth. And of course, I'd rather not get into that again. Because that's a whole story in itself. Imagine? Imagine what? Well, for sure, I don't want to be thinking about Darlene again, otherwise I'm just going to make myself even more depressed. A red cat, a pyro kitty. You mean like in the Powerpuff Girls? That furious flaming feline attack that they could do? Imagine no, f imagine no friends. But well, I did why. Well, I just proved that you are watching the streams, though. Even though you deleted your comments, I saw them. The Grand Master! Are we ever gonna see him? I know there's a lot of people saying that we might get to see him. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Well, even if I were to screenshot the comments, I have no way to show them to you, so... Ha! I see you again! I point at you! Ha 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 ha! Now for magic music time! Yes! Okay, and well, unfortunately, I can't do magic music time on a stream, so Divination you'll just have to imagine. Precisely foretelling one's written destiny. Grand plan. Over embellishing that fate only leads to misconception. Grand plan. Grand plan. What the fuck? Grand plan. What the shit? Grand plan. The grandest of plans. Mm. Is that Mario's bloody teeth? Okay, no. They could have called him the Grand Meowster. As opposed to the Grand Master.
All right. I'm sitting on this chair. Oh, right. I couldn't get on top of this, could I? Oh, wait. I got it. There. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Oops. Okay, now I have the higher ground. Okay. Meanwhile, look at her. She's just so grumpy. She doesn't even care that I'm here. Okay, now she cares that I'm here. Seriously, it's such a crime that they don't have the voice actors for this. I'm sure as hell not gonna try to voice act any of this. Especially because of some of these words, I'm not even sure if I know I'm pronouncing them right. Are you basically saying that he's like tonsils from Graystool Plays old Sims video? Well, his old videos where tonsils doesn't know anything. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Let me give it a whirl too. I, the great cat conjurer, sincerely pay my humble respects. It is a pleasing reunion because they hardly put you in the game anymore. And it still pisses me off to no end that I m missed out on the event where you get to meet Vishal. I would have wanted to go through that, damn it! Why did you do that? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that doesn't sound good.
Give me. Give it to me. What the hell? <laughs> Why are you saying that to her? Those electro slimes will have will be no match once I have donned this pound of play of war. See, like I don't even know if I'm saying these words right. the imminent right oh okay yeah I know I'm not saying that right are we ever gonna get to go back there at least I remember that event special guest. Obviously not in here. Maybe it's up here! No. It's empty still. Oops. Sorry, Amber. Okay, meanwhile, you're just standing here, just, yeah, you're just standing here. Never mind that, let's talk business. Food and drinks? No worries, we know you're busy. Okay, I guess that explains why she had enough money for this stuff. So they're they're merchants, and I guess she's technically loaded somehow. Apparently she's she knows how to get a real good side hustle going for her. <laughs> Man, though, so it's like no, uh, I'm not working for cheap. Sounds like you lead quite the interesting life. That's her superpower. She's rich. Well, I don't even know who you are. We've only just met. Well done indeed. A commendable spirit.
Let's see officials in here. Three of them are out here. Huh. You know, we have this little spot here. Well, I guess technically, since it's already here, it doesn't count. So then we just have this final room here. And then, yeah, there's nothing up here unless I want to jump onto the chandelier. Which I can't even do. Don't slam the door in my face! Okay, well... I guess for the moment... Not much else I can do. This realm is... I'll probably revisit this on Sunday then. Okay, well... I guess both of them are almost maxed out, and then... She is as well. If you ever have it... No, not that. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I haven't been... I mean, I've tried to make sure I do some things here and there, but... Yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to keep up with it as much as I used to. Same person or a different person? Let's see. Yeah, so she's at level eighty eight now. Almost maxed out. And yet, I still don't know what to do about the sword issue. <laughs> Take heart. Victory will be ours. Let's see. Okay, well, you're already taken care of. Yeah, pretty much anyone over level 80 is taken care of. <laughs> you will One, never see any two. use. Too much on Dea, at mm. least. Mm. 
She hasn't been that terrible to me, but even then, I've only used her in some trial missions and whatever, so I can't really say too much on that for her. My day isn't really even built all that great, let's be real. Well, she's hardly built at all. I don't even know what I'm going to do about her sword either. What did you need? Okay, you needed that boss. Longer range. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, at least that'll give me an excuse to go fight something. Alright, Creeper. See you. Yep, see you tomorrow. Take care. House has released numerous works that lay I'm probably just gonna spend whatever time I have here just using whatever resin I've got to fight stuff. Oh my god. No, don't encourage him, Dino. Everyone hold hands. Then he's never gonna leave me alone. Shine down. Now look what you did. Now he's never going to leave me alone. A while ago, you were saying that I have no friends. Even Dino doesn't know who you are. That's a name I do remember. I doubt that would be Quincy. 
just based on the last conversation I had with them and oh great all right well I know where this is heading Obvious being inappropriate. <laughs> oh, I won't. out of your eyes so you can see your way except at night then you can't see anything at all Oh my god, seriously, I may just take Dino's advice and just ban you. Rebuild! A proper send-up! From the Sina with love! Oh. 
Then I can finish this off here. Oh, well. Might be a good idea to heal up. Then go over here. be a good point to stop after I finish here. Oh, why is that? Illusion shattered. This may hurt a little. Breath is rebuilt. Watch out! Counts a lot. <laughs> no relation to Sir Mix a lot, right? Okay, well. <laughs> Who came up with these names? <laughs> Not so much random person, but someone who can very easily see my user ID. Just spamming. Yeah, well, a few of these people are some of my IRL friends, and then, well, of course, Ice, Dino, Frogs, who I haven't spoken to in forever, Quincy, who was a regular a few while back. Well, the person who was in here spamming and practically well, annoying. The, the one that you said that I should probably just ban. I was just trying to see, like, are they in my friends list? And no, they're not. So they were just randomly watching the stream and then spamming my user ID to join my world when I'm here. Like, no, I'm Trying to get through the events. Leave me alone. Like, the more you keep telling me to do something, the more I'm less likely to actually want to do it. So, yeah, that's why I was just kind of here, like... 
That's why I was just trying to make sure, like, yeah, do I have you on my friends list? Because if you are, then yeah, I'm also going to ban you on here, because I do not want to be dealing with that kind of thing right now. Do I want to know? Well, I'm already... I'm already hopping onto the Reddit app on here, so I guess I'm gonna find out. Eventually, and... Wait. Okay, yeah, don't say it here, and... I thought I blocked this one person on here. Huh. Oh, wait. Oh, and I think I found the tier list you were talking about. Okay, I just left a comment on there for them. Seriously, I wish people would just leave my mods alone already. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's this weirdo. <laughs> yeah, the same one who commented on my preview for the Mark character saying that this was Markiplier, like... <laughs> that weirdo. <laughs> blame you for not wanting to repeat that comment because yeah
did your or did Reddit base its layout? I don't I don't know. I don't know what goes on with Reddit's layout sometimes. What is it, Joey? And you just like whenever I pet you. Of course, you like it when I give you tummy rubs the most. Oh, did you Reddit change its layout? For some reason, it keeps switching between layouts with me. At least when I'm on the the desktop version of it. It mostly looks the same on my phone. But, you know, like, every once in a while, it'll be switching back between the old layout and then the new layout. And yeah, it kind of throws me off a bit. Oh, wait, Guide to Light. That's what those are. No, here we go. Oh. Well. If there are people who are kind of like like that towards their villagers and Animal Crossing, then I'm just kind of here like, you really have a weird way of getting your sick kicks. this place is. It's yet another building that I can't go inside of. That's all I know. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably see about doing something like that. My time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. Yeah, like I imagine that kind of player would be... Like, imagine the kind of player who tortures their sims, but it's even worse because, well... I mean, Animal Crossing is kind of meant to be a little more... How would you say? Like, The Sims, you don't really get to bond or connect with any of them. Exactly. But Not like the way you would with your villagers, so... The whole idea with Animal Crossing is, like... 
well, that whole idea of the friendship and whatever, so... Relaxing as well, that's another big thing. But also, you know, getting to interact with your villagers and all that. So to actually go out of your way to intentionally be cruel to them... Yeah, I'm just kind of here, like... I mean, it's one thing to have, like, a few villager characters you might not like, but to be willingly be mean to all of them and whatnot, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I kind of say, like, it's kind of different as opposed to... to being cruel to your sims and whatever, but... Yeah, it's... Like, there's more of a deeper and personal connection with your villagers and Animal Crossing, so... Yeah. Yeah, that too. Well, you can imagine then how it... How I felt when, like, Molly left my New Leaf village. So I was just here like, what did I do wrong? But then I know sometimes it's like... Sometimes the villagers may just randomly leave, but then... Yeah, I don't know. I just have a lot of questions. Yeah, I'll be, unfortunately, busy tomorrow. From Friday night until Saturday morning. Well, let's see. So, Friday, Saturday... Well, Saturday is when we usually have our VC stuff. Sunday... Like, unless we were to do on Sunday before I start streaming. Or, of course, Monday or Wednesday. Those are other options. I guess, like, after you're done streaming at that time. Okay, so then... I guess at least Sunday we'll have to see, like, around what time then. But yeah, obviously, like, pro most likely before I start streaming, which is... Typically, like... I don't know. Like, 10 o'clock my time, give or take, is usually when, like, I start streaming. Which should probably be, like, 9 o'clock your time, I think. So, yeah, I guess so long as we have something set up before that time, yeah, I guess we could totally do Sunday then. Let's see. It's around a one and a half... One and a half hour movie? Okay, well... So, one and a half hours, like, 90 minutes... Okay. <laughs> Buy some apples. Okay, so at least that way I have an idea of like what we're working with as well. She's so angry. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that makes sense. On, Menth, say the line. Looks like no the more tea here just keeps getting more bitter. There, she said it. So, wait, you'll remove them? Oh. Oh, okay, so I was actually going to see about watching this after I was done here, but okay, so I guess we'll save that for the watch party then. I love her accent too, that's why I like listening to her. Let me see her. The tea here just keeps getting more bitter. Yeah, that's why I always say that she's probably my favorite Milda scene. Just because of her voice. Oh, I really want to go traveling. I don't mind where we go, as long as I have my friends with me. <laughs> Uh... Well... The Melusine species? Well, that's kind of some major spo story spoilers there. But as for the uh, name the Melusine... Just keeps getting more bitter. That is part of some kind of folklore. I don't really know too much about it. In fact, I only know about the name Milusine only because of Fate Grand Order, which was pulling from a folklore figure. But the Milusine species as we see them here, I don't know. <sighs> the tea here just keeps getting more bitter. Like, at least in Fate Grand Order, the character named Milusine is like an ancient dragon. And as you can see here... Yeah, I'm not gonna give you any game spoilers. But, well, I'm just talking about Fate Grand Order's Milusine. As opposed to the Milosines that we see here. But they're nothing alike other than the fact that they're both very short characters. Can you spoil for Animal Crossing? The only things I could think of would be the story of the Able Sisters and what happens with Tornimer. Like that natural progression. And yeah, I think he wants me to let him outside. So I may have to do that in a bit. I stole from your shop! But those weren't even 
fruits, those were vegetables. <sighs> the tea here just keeps getting more bitter. Okay, yeah, so I guess I probably should just wrap up here. Yeah, and no problem, and likewise, thanks for coming to mine as well. Okay, in the meantime, I guess next time, when I get back to Genshin Impact at least... Oh. Yeah, that ending was... I mean, all things considered, since I don't really know too much about Discworld, the, the ending was kind of left field, but it was a nice ending. A little bit unexpected, but it was a nice ending. Very wholesome, like you put it, so... Okay, well... Yeah, so I guess next time we'll continue with the cat event here. See what the final cat is. And... Yeah, I guess after that... I'm just still not sure if I'm gonna be able to get Nova Lit. <laughs> This is going to be the second time I strike out with him, and yeah, I'm just here like, Shh. Uh, what can I do, though? You know, besides curse myself for trying to even give any of my wishes to that chronicled wish banner that was a total scam, which would have at least given me 30 more tries for him, but... Oh well, say the V, as they say. Anyway, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time with whatever else I do. Stay golden and later, folks.